Oh hi Ogazamash, Vadashi Wapaya Kitty, and welcome back to my diary of Animal Crossing and Leaf. Well, as always, let's start with this last week, which this time is a little bit later because of Gishwes last week. But hey, it's still early enough, right? Alright. So it was a beautiful, nice Monday morning. Well, more like afternoon, but and I was starting to work a little bit on my environment, which I had a lot of fun with that even if I was sometimes a little bit confused as to what to put where because as long as not everything is down in the town as you you know need it or how like you just don't know how it's gonna look in the end, it's kinda hard for me to do that. But I tried. So the first thing I did was getting the joke from Shrunk Disagreement joke. Basically shaking her head. Yep. <laughs> I also made a little picture because I went to buy stuff and I found this Geisha wig and it looked pretty interesting so I took a picture. I actually ended up buying it because uh, who knows maybe I want to dress up as Geisha sometime. I also had to buy <laughs> or at least try these two on because it looked hilarious. I look so weird and I felt like sharing this picture with you guys because it looks freaking silly. Well, catch us off today. This is short and simple and easy. There's the Orchid Mantis, which is mostly on white flowers, so you might not really see it at first. And the Rice Grasshopper, which honestly, it looks like most other grasshoppers, so just catch all of them and you'll eventually find that Rice Grasshopper. Okay, so next day, as you see, I changed my uh, fence a little bit. Though I must say I'm not too big of a fan of this fence. It doesn't look as good as you think or as it should, so I went ahead and changed it back. <laughs> then, well obviously we get the joke again. We go get the joke again. The worry joke. I'm like, seriously, what's up? So far it's been mostly negative stuff. Apparently there's a lot of negative, some em negative emotions that you can get, but Whatever, I'm a collector, so I got it. I also finished paying off my home loan again, which I think if you spend or if you buy everything, one of the guide pages once said that you're gonna spend about between five to seven million or even more. And I'm like, that's freaking crazy almost. But hey, we also had Phineas come back and give me more badges. I got the Backyard Gardener badge and basically that's whenever you do a lot of gardening in your town, you know, putting flowers down, putting trees down, all that stuff, so I was happy about that. I also got the Balloon Hunter badge, which you basically get when you pop a lot of balloons. Little tip here, if you want that balloon furniture or if you just want to pop a lot of balloons to get the achievement, usually from what I read and I need to check that at some point. From what I read, the balloons spawn once every hour at 04. So whatever 04. And that's when you should probably keep your eyes open. So that might help some of you. So let's move on to the next day because there weren't any catches of today. Nothing. It was a neat sunny day again and there was a rainbow. It's actually pretty cool. So... We had somebody camping in my town called Jitters and it was like this bird but I didn't feel good about it, didn't feel good about adding that person and again as I said I usually go with my gut because I didn't want to risk with you know how much I've worked on my town that somebody moves on top of something I built because they will, they will like move on top of trees, bushes, flowers the only thing they will leave alone is, well, if you've built any uh, projects or if obviously there's another house there already, so nothing safe. And yeah, if I have a bad feeling about somebody, I'm not going to invite them. I also wanted to show this picture because I was being a jerk to Bertha. I really wanted her to move out of my town, though unfortunately, even if you're mean to those people, they don't move out. 
The only way to make them move out, I believe I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again if I did or not, is by completely ignoring them. If you don't talk to them for about two weeks, they're going to move out. Pretty much. Plus minus. Anything else? Forget about it. Keep in mind that if you play hide and seek and somebody invites the person you want to get rid of, that kind of counts as interaction with them, so... Yeah. So, the joke. The distress joke. More negative stuff. I'm like, holy freaking hell, what the hell am I with this? But, again, I'm collecting, so let's take it. I also made a little funny screenshot of this Chinese mask, New Year's mask. And I just wanted to show that. It looks a little bit like um, the Red Lion from Wind Waker and Zelda, so a little bit. And this is pretty much how it looked in my house that day. Um, I kind of used a lot of the mermaid furniture and I did some other arrangements. So, pretty neat, even though it looks kind of weird with that uh, uh, cloud floor, but that's pretty much the only thing that I had at this point that looked somewhat decent and not like some crazy mashup like what Sahara gives you sometimes. Jesus. You know, she's the stylist, but she has no sense of style in my opinion. <laughs> no offense. Yeah, and this is how it looked in the back, pretty much. I'm not too super fond of this wallpaper. It's the Alpine wallpaper, but it, it kind of fits, so yeah. I went to also play a few things on the island again because I still kept checking to see if there's more um, mermaid furniture. It's the Elite Hide and Seek Tour. And that's about it. It gave me a lot of medals as you see here. If you do silver, if you get silver you get 8 medals and stuff still. So it's pretty good. If you can go outside of the easy stuff, try to do so, especially elite or official. It's pretty good if you need the medals. And there's easy hide and seek tour. It's pretty much just a bunch of villagers from this island, not from your town or anywhere, uh, hiding and you try to find them, pretty much. So yeah. Next day, it was again sunny like you would expect it in August, right? So not much to say there. We found or we got the showmanship joke. That's actually pretty cool. It looks pretty neat, so I was kinda happy about that. Something useful definitely. You can do cool stuff with that. And I had another funny discovery at the shop. I look like some old days rock and roll legend or something right now. <laughs> that weird hair is pretty cool. And I did actually tweet this. I quote unquote made like made the duck face because it's so in, right? <laughs> they did that on purpose. Gosh darn it. I don't want this thing, I just wore it for a funny picture really. So Well and here we have the Elite Gardening Tour, which I did a lot at this point so I could get a lot of flowers. They have the purple, oh, I think violets is it? And the white violets I think uh, that look like lavender colored. So I went to check the freaking island every day to see if they have the elite gardening tour so I could hopefully get more of these flowers that I had to collect so many. Cause I didn't wanna, like at this point I didn't wanna use any more other colors of flowers so yep. And when I went back, Captain asked me, is that hairstyle popular these days? And I'm like, I don't know, <laughs> does it matter? It's one I like, so whatever. And he also sang a song again, obviously. And what he said was, remember your memoirs? You say please and thank you. If you don't, mom will cry into her hanky. And I'm like, no. <laughs> It's kind of cute. Well, and as I was back, I got a new badge. Though, I don't remember what kind of badge it was because I took the screenshot too late. And I'm like, you're a dumbass. Yep. <laughs> but we have catches of the day, so... Earshell, 
which is a diving thing. Turban shell, which is another diving thing. And a horseshoe crab, which looks nothing like a crab or what you would think. Again, another diving item or thing. A giant isopod, which dead looks bad, kinda. It's huge too, as the name implies. And yeah, another underwater thing. Tiger prawn. Not much to say here. It doesn't look any crazy or whatever, so. And I also had the neutral painting, which looks like a bowl of fruit or something. Yep. Well, so, next day, we're already at Friday, whoo, getting close to the weekend. There was some clouds going on, but that's about it. It's pretty cool. It had a notice that there's going to be a bug off tomorrow. And I always try to join those bug offs or those fishing contests or whatever because, not gonna lie, I usually like winning the gold trophies. <laughs> Plus, the furniture is pretty nice, so. But first, we had a daydreaming joke from Shrunk. That's pretty neat, too. It's kinda. Well, I don't need to explain this. It's pretty much. The expl like, the, the names are pretty descriptive, honestly. This is how my place looked at this point. I changed a few more things around. I started to replace the mermaid stuff with alpine customized stuff. So, yep. This is how it looked in the back. I put up some pictures and had the neat little black lucky cat and all that stuff. So, looks a little bit like Fire Kitty. <laughs> well, the color anyway. So, And here I actually went ahead. I tweeted about that actually. And changed the town tune. My town has the freaking uh, the Requiem of Spirits from Zelda as a town tune now, which sometimes it sounds kind of sad and dramatic, but it's it's pretty neat. Depends a little bit on who you're talking to. I don't even notice it's there anymore really at this point. <laughs> well, in any case, let's move on to Saturday, which was not our Clear sky day, and we had the issue here that I was kind of unlucky that day. It happens sometimes at random. And what that does is if you run, you sometimes stumble, which is kind of annoying. If you walk, nothing happens, but who the hell walks in this game unless you walk through a flower bed or something? I kept falling, and the only way to re remedy that is if you have a lovely phone, which you can get from those... Firework events, for example, like for getting a fortune cookie with a specific uh, fortune paper in it. What you need to do is then go to your house, use that phone, and it's going to give you a horoscope. And it's going to tell you your lucky item for the day. And what you need to do is wear that so you stop kind of falling all over the place. Yeah. But sometimes it's something... It's very specific, so sometimes it's just something I don't have, so I'm gonna have to put up with it. Usually the next day, you're free of bad luck again and you don't stumble around anymore, so. So we got the greetings joke. I don't even remember what that is anymore. But, well, I had it, so woo. <laughs> this is my, um, one of the rooms in my museum. As you see, I had a bug off gold trophy there in the back, and I tried to put it up, like, this is basically my achievement room, I guess, where I put trophies and stuff like that. I really love those display cases, they're so cool. Um, there are two different kinds, there's the ones with just a podestal, like, the three you see there in the background, and there's one with uh, glass, it's pretty neat, I, I really like them, so... This is how it looked on the bottom because I didn't have anything. I just displayed some of my uh, patterns as pictures. It's pretty neat. Not much else to say, really. I also went back to the island and I did the pros only buck hunt. And then when I came back, because it was the bug off this day, I did some bug off stuff. I gave him a bird ring butterfly and it was worth 99 points. He gave me a honeybee chest, which is this specific 
block off furniture. It looks really neat actually. And even though I'm not gonna use it, I'm still collecting it because, well, it's pretty cool. It's it's rare, it's cool, and I'm like, it looks pretty neat. So I'm just gonna collect it and display it in one of my museum rooms. I mean, why not? I'm not gonna use it for my house because, honestly, as big as your house seems, especially once you max it out, I feel like there's still not enough space to put everything down. You can. Maybe use two, maybe if you push it, three complete furniture sets, but that's about it. I mean, unless you make it look like super overfilled, and I don't like that, so, you know. I also gave him another birdwing butterfly and got 111 points this time, and he gave me a Takata stereo, so that was pretty cool. That looks pretty neat, actually. At first, I didn't want to collect this or whatever. Um, but once I saw the honeybee chest and everything, and the cicada stereo too now, I was like, you know, I'm not a fan of bugs, but this is actually really neat. So, um, I also did a fall bug tour, and yeah, later on I went to the Dream Suite, and I went to a really really cool town. Uh, a Japanese town and what I'm gonna do is attach the pictures at the end of this diary which is gonna be in a little bit we still have Sunday left uh, so you can get an idea because my god that town is super cool I've been there like I don't know ten times or so by now at least and I keep going there to get inspired for stuff for my own town pretty much it's really really good it's Hands down, the best town I have seen so far, and I've visited the Dream World quite a bit, so it's freaking awesome. You're gonna see it. You're probably gonna like it. So. Anyway, let's finish Sunday so I can show you that cool town. By the way, in the future, whenever I have that cable that I'm still waiting for, shipment takes forever, uh, I'm gonna do them like with videos and not just screenshots, but for now, that's all I can do, so... Anyway, Sunday. We had the bug of results. The winner was me, obviously, with the 111. Second, Lopez, and third, Biscuit. So 61 was the next thing. It's almost like half, almost. Pretty good. I was happy. Even though I feel a little bit like the bug offs are almost a bit too easy to win. But whatever, I'll take it. It's a cool trophy. <laughs> I also was hanging out with Miss Audie, aka Guy Crusher 9, from Papillon, and with uh, well Rob from Pop Stars, which is slim. And we, you know, we had we were hanging out a little bit in my town, and we like exchanged fossils and other stuff that we kind of needed. It was really neat. We just were on a Skype call, and we'd hang out in my town, and you know, hand each other stuff that we needed or whatever it just it was cool I liked it a lot I like doing that well catch us up today Arapaima the huge friggin river fish it's pretty good it's pretty neat and with that being said I am gonna leave you to the town slideshow in a bit if you would like the um, the dream code, I can put it into the description if you're interested. It's really good, you should really go and check it out. It's, my god, it's elaborate as hell. And I'm working really hard in my own town to make it just as elaborate. I don't know about making it as symmetrical as the one he has. I think it's a guy. But I'm going to try, definitely. I'm going to try to do my best. So this is really cool. In any case, as always, don't forget that this diary is affiliated and associated with a lot of items in my shop. And the money goes to charity. So if you would like to support that, that'd be awesome. Or if you would like to spread it to friends, family, subscribers, followers, whatever you have, feel free to do that too. I'd appreciate it. Alright. That's pretty much it for the last week, and, well, 
I'm going to leave you with that slideshow now. So as always, thanks for watching, thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.